Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt again, and we're going to be setting up the Shure MV7 and going through all the settings on the Shure Plus Motive app. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this video. Hey, what's up guys? And it's Matt back here, and I want to show you guys the mic setup for the mv7 and so the mv7 is a new microphone that i have it's been around for quite some time and from what i hear it's a really good mic um i did have quite a bit of issues with it the first month month and a half that i had it and that was just me not knowing how to set things up and so one of the things that I had trouble with at first was plugging it directly into my PC. Um, laptops have a little bit better performance as far as voltage and amperage uh, regulation. And so the desktops, they're sometimes not as good. I'm not saying all of them, but I have a custom built computer and obviously I may not have the best power supply in it, which is understandable. So my mic had some weird um, audio issues. And to fix that, I just purchased a um, USB power supply that plugs into the computer. And then I plug my mic into the power supply and that helps with the voltage and amperage regulation. So that helped there tremendously. And then number two, um, I was using OBS Studio for a while and it took me a few hours to figure out like the filters and things like that because I'm not real familiar with OBS Studio, which a lot of people say that it is a great, great software, but I was having a lot of issues with it, with the filters. And so I've got all the filters set up on OBS Studio and the problem that I'm still having is even adjusting my filters for hours and hours and hours. I've cleaned up a lot of that, but not all of it. So let's get into the Sure Plus uh, motive, motive, motive. I'm not sure how they want you to say it, but so you have two different functions here. You have the auto level and you have manual. And in manual, you can go and do your presets. And so here um, I've got one saved. It's called my favorite and you can manage your presets and then you can save another one if you like. And you can mute the mic for any reason. Um, if I wanted to watch something on screen that I was recording and I just wanted to mute the mic. And then the gain, the gain is gonna help your mic pick up more. So the higher the gain, the more the mic's gonna pick up. It's gonna make things louder and things of that nature. So you can hear me turn it up to 36 and you can probably hear a noticeable volume difference as to where it is at 30. And then you have your monitor mix and this is the, the playback through the mic and how much the mic picks up since I do not want anything um, else coming through, I've got it 100% to the mic. Now the EQ, I like to use the presence boost, but there are different EQ and it kind of changes the tone of your voice a little bit, uh, very slightly, but it is noticeable. So this is the flat and um, the flat will just kind of give you more of a natural tone, what you should be sounding like. And then we have the high pass, um, it'll help with a little bit more tone. And then the presence boost kind of makes your voice stand out a little bit more. And then you have um, the last one, which is high pass and presence boost together. Uh, I really like the presence boost. And then the limiter, uh, the limiter should keep you around negative 12 decibels. And what this does, it keeps you from peaking. So you get audio distortion and things like that. If you get loud, if you're gaming, you get excited, or if you're doing a podcast, and you you say something loud or um, just anything of that nature, it's gonna limit you so you don't peak too much. And then you have your compressor. A lot of times 
I do use my compressor off, but I do like the light compressor. The medium compressor is not bad. I'm not a fan of the heavy, but I mean, a lot of times just going through these, you're not going to notice a really big um, change in tones or anything like that. So this is the compressor off and it should just give a more natural what I sound like and then the light um, should just uh, clean it up just a little bit to give me a little bit more um, bass and then here's the medium and then we also have heavy and I like to keep it on light I like for my videos to be as natural sounding as I can with the presence boost and a light compressor and then the live meters the live meters are um, what's going to be running in the background and we'll do some more on that but that's for the manual and then we have the auto level auto level is really good um, and same thing here you can save your presets it's a lot more simpler it's kind of the out of the box get going um, you know uh, hit the street running and it also has mic mute and your monitor and mic or your sorry your uh, monitor mix and so for this you really don't have a lot of options but it makes it super simple for you so i have it on near because my mic is around you know 10 or 12 inches from my face and i can do far and it would probably be a lot louder because this thing is meant to be um you know a little bit further from my face probably you know 18 to 20 inches instead of uh 10 or 12 inches so we're on near uh the tone is natural like i said i like to stay natural but there is a bright and it should just kind of brighten up my voice a little bit and then we have the dark tone and the dark um, I haven't really used it a lot, so I haven't listened to it a lot to get a really good feel for it. And then there's night mode. And the night mode, there are lights on the microphone, and they should, yep, they dim. So um, if you're doing something in the dark and uh, you're doing a podcast and the lights are dim, a lot of times you don't want bright lights in your video because it's a distraction. So if you have your night mode on it'll turn those lights down and keep distraction out of your video if your mic is in your video at night so for all that being said i think this is a really good mic it's not the cheapest mic but it is a really good mic uh, for everybody for anybody that's just getting started uh, as a beginner or somebody that's really advanced in the audio i am 100 percent a beginner and this has been a game changer for me to figure this out now for me obs studio was not the best for me and i'm gonna keep working with obs studio because it's something i want to learn but right now i'm using uh clip champ and clip champ has in here where you can go through and um record and set up your tabs right from clip champ i'm sure a lot of the other software but i'm not familiar with premiere I do have DaVinci Resolve, but the thing about DaVinci Resolve is it is a monster of a program, and I believe Premiere is also. And there's some other ones um, I would have liked to have tried, but they're strictly for Mac. So for me, I'm starting off with ClipChamp in my video editing um, experience, you know, just trying to get a little bit of knowledge on video editing. So just kind of watch for my videos and see how they evolve in the future but for right now i'm using clip champ it seems to be really good I, it's 15 or 20 dollars a month uh for the subscription so i think that is not a bad deal as far as what you get a lot of people are really excited about clip champ it's not as powerful as something like premiere but i think it's going to be a really good beginner um level for us so as far as audio goes i think that you can't really go wrong with the sure um, I, they're around 200 dollars, but you're going to get your bang for your buck for sure um, being a beginner or someone that's done this for quite a while so if you're looking for a good mic and something that's easy to set up i would definitely recommend um, the sure mv7 pro
So thanks for watching and you guys have a fantastic day. Matt out.